you are. I'm not a kid. <sighs> Prove it. You can't make her go to the youth club and enjoy herself. Who said anything about her enjoying herself? Dad! Look, do what your mum says. Anyway, we're both working. Well, I don't need a babysitter. You go into the club. Mark could stay here with me. <laughs> I'm going to the club. Oh, another good reason not to go. I don't know who's wet, it's you or the vicar. <laughs> I see that Bernice has hooked her Gavin. They've named the day. Well, I hope she looks better on it than you, Kelly. What's that with me? Hmm? Well, you look pasty. You know what her trouble is, don't you? Too Lots much. of lovely lolly. What's up with you? Just trying to be friendly, you know, getting in the Christmas spirit. <laughs> you will be getting your supplies here, won't you? Oh, that's uh, Lisa's department. There's a little bit of blusher there, Cal, if you want to uh, put some colour in your cheeks. I don't want to look like a tart. I wear it. £2.50. You are? Wholesale. Oh, stick it. Nice, uh, aren't they? No, uh, yeah, uh, what's in them? Well, it says on the box, you know, a hat, novelty and witticism. No, I've got an hat. You can't wear that for your Christmas dinner. Who says? A novelty for your little belle? No, she'd only swallow it and throttle herself. A witticism? Well, who needs witticisms when you've got our butchers' party tricks? All he needs is a pan of sprouts and a box of matches. <laughs> Well, yes, the happy couple. Who's that, then? <laughs> oh, you are a tease. Thanks, Alan. To us. No, we're so pleased you've made the day. Aren't we, Trisha? Oh, aesthetic. Oh, don't worry, Trisha. You'll find Mr Wright. And if you're lucky, he'll be as handsome and as devoted as my Gavin. Give it a rest. <laughs> oh, and modest, too. I must be getting on. Yeah. We've got a little secret, haven't we, Gavin? And it involves you, Trisha. Mm. We'd like you to be our bridesmaid. Me? Well, why not? You're closer to us than anyone else in this village. I thought you'd be pleased. Oh, I am. I think she's delighted. <laughs> right, well, uh, is anybody going to wish me luck? Why? You having another go at finding a wife? I'm driving the bus. You know, the GK supermarket run. Mm, I think that's very public-spirited of you, Alan. Yeah, yes, I, I think so too. It's good to give something back. Hmm. Like me with the youth club. Doing something for others. What do you do for other people then, Gavin? Same as you, Trisha. You don't need me. You're coming. I can't stand shopping. You're coming. And I don't want you complaining. Hi, oh, Zach. Hey, hey. Hi. Hello. Is this the queue for the shopping bus? There you are, Becky. This young fella can carry your shopping bag. <laughs> <laughs> he don't like shopping. No? Oh, I love it. Can't get enough. You're a woman. Hey, what's going on? We're waiting for a free bus to take us to the new supermarket. Hey, I'll have some of that. You know they're selling Canterville for 60 pence each. How much? Aye. So you come in then. You're twisting me arm. I'll twist your neck if you don't stop grumbling. Morning. Morning. Are you all clippy? No, I'm just here to give Brandon a bit of sport. I'm not going all the way. Well, that'll be a change. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Jason. Hiya. Are you going? Well, I'm going to go and see if there's some cheap offers, you know. I think I might come now, Grandad. There's your first cheap offer. Come <laughs> <laughs> on, on. <laughs> Hey. Going to that supermarket? No, only for the big shop, love. Uh, we're still getting as much as that from you. I got all my Christmas stock in. It's like Aladdin's cave in there. Well, you best hope you find a magic lamp then. Wish up a bit of trade. <laughs> <laughs> what about your friendly local shopkeeper? Traitors! Where are you going? It's our day off. You're never catching that bus. I need some space. Kelly! I forbid you! Filthy habit. Yeah, well, as a workers, don't get many pleasures these days. You don't do much work either. I'm waiting on orders. Check the boundaries. You what? 
One of your duties is to look after my security. Well, Liam's not going to come back looking for you, is he? It's not funny, Terry. Make sure there aren't any strange cars parked up in the lanes. Or you could stay here with me. I mean, I'd feel secure. Bored, rigid, but secure. I'll go check the boundaries. Make sure you don't drop fag ends all round the place. That man needs a health warning attached. Aren't you cold out here? I am, as it happens, Phil. Ooh. Cold as ice, aren't they? What could I do to warm myself up? Have a hot drink. I see Ashley's roped you in for the youth club. He thinks it'll help give me something worthwhile to do. You can't pretend losing Alice hasn't affected you. Of course it has. But I've given her a brand new life. I think it's time I gave myself one. I'm just not going to the other side of the world for mine. Where are you going? Nowhere. I'm staying right here. I don't be running away, and at least here I've got lots of friends. That's a good decision, Kathy. That sounded very patronising, Graham. The boys think Richie's just great. You name it, he knows about it. Computers, the ladies' music, films. I've not had one word of complaint about them being bored since he arrived. Well, if he's that good, you can send him around to sort Ollie out. Oh, she'll be all right. But if I don't do a serious damage first, we row when she's in and I worry when she's out. Is she going to the youth club? Supposedly. I'll get the boys to keep an eye on her. The battalion from the SAS might be more use. <sighs> I didn't realise the boundaries extended this far. Oh, don't tell me Chris has sent you to check up on me. Lunch break. Joseph's having some quality time with his dad. Lucky Joseph. Orange juice, please. Right. I think he tried it on with me earlier. Uh, Joseph? Chris. I'm surprised it's taking this long. Won't be told him where to get off. I'm a trained nanny. I can wilt rampant males at 20 paces. I bet you have the opposite effect when you uh, fancy a bloke. Don't know what you mean. Well, you must have loads of blokes chasing you. Not that I've seen any sign of them. I'm not a nun. You're on the market, then. I'm not a prize heifer, either. No, you're right there. I have one rule about love. That all? Never have a relationship with someone you're working for. Tell. Or with. Take the notice, Terry. Look at me and my Gavin. Partners at work and play. I'd have more chance would Chris take. Just checking you're still available for the club tonight. Ready and able. I need to be back for the last hour, though. Excellent. Glad you came in, Ashley. There's something I need to ask you. Shoot. <laughs> Are you going to like this? Ashley, will you marry me? Rather. <laughs> <laughs> what about Gavin? Oh, <laughs> you are a card. No, I meant me and my Gavin have named the day. You're going to marry him? Will who else? Congratulations. Now. How about a celebratory tipple? I'm rather busy. Uh, another time. Oh. Well, don't forget our date tonight. Good news, Mrs. Glover. As you thought, you are pregnant. It is good news. Yeah. Good. Then let me be the first to congratulate you. And give my regards to Mr. Glover. Thanks. Can I give you this? This gives you details of all our antenatal programme. No doubt Dad would like to be involved too. It seems to be all the rage these days. Is it? What's up, Andy? Anyone would think you were chasing a lass? <laughs> All the lasses are chasing me, more like. Let's stay in, then. <laughs> I'll see if we can fix Andy up at the club. Yeah. <laughs> see you later. See you later. They're in a good mood. And they've washed up. <coughs> Not them. Jack! Well, I thought you only used washing up liquid for carving. Ha ha. It was Richie. You didn't have to. That's what I told him. No problem. 
Oh, well, thanks anyway. So what are you doing tonight? You're going to the wool pack? Uh, on the wagon. Not really. It's just it can be a bit embarrassing if I go on my own. Mrs. Windsor, you know. Ah, oh, there's enough to put anyone off. Jack will go with you. Oh, no, I've got an early start. You go. I'll put Victoria to bed. And um, that's if you don't mind another middle-aged battle axe for company. <laughs> hey. <clears throat> Sorry. Well, that sack would be in here. Miss Ladum, have you? Oh, half this village has gone AWOL. Hey, we thought you got lost from the Connelton Triangle. Oh, that would have been preferable to scarring the hostelries of Skipdale looking for Zack and Seth. Oh, you found them, then. <laughs> Zachariah! What's up? I've just been Christmas shopping. Oh, well, that'll look well in Bell's stocking. Tricia, you're supposed to be on duty. Ashley's expecting me over at the club. Oh. This young fella's been leading us astray. Ah. Uh, hey, let me buy you all a drink. Don't you think you've had enough already? I'll have a pint with you, Jason, lad. Me and all. I am surprised at you, Alan Turner. I thought you were a champion of small local business. And I thought you were a champion of competition. Slob. Hey, I'm the only one that's allowed to call him that. It's a valuable community service, particularly for the less well-off. Well, we'll see how valuable it is when those two old soaks have to trek all the way into Hotton to cash their state I handouts. Think, I think she's talking about me and thee. Well, let me buy you a drink, just to show there are no hard feelings. Aren't there? I'll have a rum and coke. Make it a large one. Just getting organised. Oh, um, can I ask you something, Ashley? It's about the wedding. <sighs> well, I, I know you and I have become close. Well, real good mates. Real good mates. But when I told you, you, you seemed... Oh, I don't know, hardly 100%. I'm sorry if I gave that impression. But that's how you felt. I just want to make sure you know you're doing the right thing. Of course I am. Oh, I know what this is all about. You don't want another Biff and Cathy scenario on our hands, do you? Oh, I've never been sure of anything. You happy now? Yes. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hello. 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 Hey. <laughs> it's typical of this village. They're as nice as pie to your face, and then they go and stab you in the back. Oh, don't let them get to you. If the shop goes under, it won't just be me, Donna and Scott out on the street, but you and Kelly as well. Oh, come on, it's not that bad. Isn't it? Get real, Roy. My time inside did that. Oh, you've only got yourself to blame now, haven't you? It made me think... Good. ...about how lucky I am. Got a good job. Got a lovely wife. And I've got you there to back us up. You're not such a bad lad. At least Roy understands the value of a good family, even if you don't fancy catching that bus. Yeah, well, I didn't buy anything in that GK place. Didn't you? You mean you just used them for a free ride? Good thinking. Yeah. Get us a drink, Roy. I made large rum and coke. I love the same. You've had one already, haven't you? You can smell it on you. So? It's because you had to hang around waiting for that lot. Whose oh, shot is it? Uh, yours. Are you sure? Fancy a cheap round? Can I do a swim? Gizzy glass. <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey, shh, shh, shh. you can't do that. It's half the price. And we went to brewery if you don't. <laughs> well, I'm having nought to do with it. some new games and stuff. Big deal, I'll lose all my cred coming to a dump like this. Uh, what cred? Look at these playing ping pong with the sound. Oh, oh handy. Oh, she's spinning it. Oh. <sighs> Sign with oh. Miss Spent You, Faye Cathy. Hey, if only. Seems to have made up for it since, though. Ooh! <laughs> oh, that puts a lid on it. Now Clark is here. Oh, he's all right, he's Mr Clark. He's a teacher. I have enough of teachers at school. You don't mind me, Ron, too. All hands to the deck. 
My being a teacher might not go down too well. <laughs> One step up from being a vicar, I dare say. Woo! Yes! Oh, what a team! Woo! Woo! <laughs> Graham, do you think I can have a word? Of course. <laughs> Right, Ashley, I don't feel quite so guilty about leaving you high and dry now. Sorry? We're getting back to my cabin. We've got more helpers than kids. <laughs> I don't need a nursemaid. Sorry? You're only here because I've come, aren't you? Well, I do have some experience working with young people. Yes, I know. OK, look, I'm sorry. I, I just think you might be taking on more than you can handle. Graham, they're hardly hell's angels. Well, they aren't angels either. Stay cool, guys. Stay cool, guys. Did I ever tell you about the time I slept with the vicar? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the drink. I wish Jack could have come. I'm not too sure if Jack likes me. Of course he does. He, he was just a bit suspicious at first, but... That's Jack. He doesn't like a change of his routine. Oh, a bit like me. <laughs> Honest. I mean, I like Terry and Marlon, but sharing with them, oof. It's much better living with a normal family. Normal? But you know what I mean. Even with all the rows? It just shows that people care about one another. Oh, yeah, I suppose you're right. Shall I rescue him? Who? Poor Richie. He's here, lodger. Oh, Pete didn't last long, did he? And now she's parading him around like some trophy. It's indecent. Look at them cheeky beggars. Right. I'm going to wipe the smiles off their faces. Oh, you'll get them bad if you grass on them. <laughs> Have you got a minute, everyone? Oh. Gather round, please. Come on. Oh. About the same prayers, are we? Not unless you're volunteering to lead them. <laughs> well, um, it's great to see everyone here. Do you get paid for doing this? Yes and no. What kind of an answer is that? <laughs> uh, I've had an idea which I'd like to share with you all. What if I was to say to you, we're going to do a panto? Oh, no, we're not. <laughs> <laughs> Very witty, yes, yes. So, uh, how about it? We put on a show for the whole village at Christmas. You'll have us doing a nativity play next. I'll give him a chance. Yeah, it's all right for drips like you. It might be fun. Yeah, for you, cos you've not got a life. We only come here to get out of the cold. Yeah, it's not school. In fact, you may as well give us the key and leave us to it. All right. Forget about it. I just thought you might enjoy it. I don't know why I bother. Neither do we. Stiffs. That wasn't very clever. It's got to be you. Listen, you aren't stupid. You just act as if you are. Ashley and the others are running the club for you. We wouldn't ask them to. Shut up. They're doing it in the hope that it might just stop you from doing something that could ruin your life before it's begun. What would you know? More than you could ever imagine. I'll tell you what we're going to do. Ashley, they'll all be back next time. Just to get out of the cold. At least I'm not sitting in the bush shelter right. drinking lager. Well, it's not just you, Ashley. Ollie's a pain with everyone. I appreciate you saying it, Mark, but the fact of the matter is she's probably right. No. I'm not very good at this sort of thing. I wasn't even when I was a teenager. Ollie's had a brilliant idea. Oh, tell them. No, oh, she's too modest. OK if I do? Rather than do a traditional panto, not very cool, she reckons. She suggests the members put on their own show. She'll even write it. You all right? Fine. You look knackered. You going to go on for another night? Well, we can't leave this. Ah, should be all right. Right. That should teach those two old cheapskates. Oh, you've not told Bernice, have you? <laughs> <Get> <laughs> Jason, what are you playing at with Trisha, you? Nothing. 
Well, she reckons you've asked her out on a date. She asked me. What? And you said yeah? Which is a right laugh. But that's no reason to start treating her like she's a joke. What have I done? Jason, <laughs> you're gay. Hey, I'm a person. But a, a gay person. Which means I can't have women friends. Have you told her? You told her not to tell anyone. <laughs> 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 You did that! Did I heck? Hey. You shook it up while I was in the gent. I was still standing at the side of you. <laughs> anyway, at 60p a can, we can afford your bath in the stuff. <laughs> you must sort those two big kids out of that youth club of yours. <laughs> I think you're doing a brilliant job. I wouldn't have the patience. <laughs> you and Bernice are very close, aren't you? Yeah, I suppose. Better than we were. I mean, she's even asked me to be her bridesmaid, so she mustn't think I'm a total dipstick. You must be pleased for her. Yeah, of course. She set her heart on it. It's what she's always wanted. Between me and you, I reckon it's the idea of getting married she's fallen in love with. She adores Gavin, surely. You aren't absolutely sure it's the right thing, are you? It's not me that's got to marry him, is it? Do you think she should? Why are you asking me all this? Just a feeling inside, a niggle. But a sense that you know something that makes it even more wrong for her. What have people been saying about me? Nothing. Why? Should they have? No, I'm not happy about him getting married. Especially when I've got to stand there and be her bridesmaid. You could make an excuse. What? Like I slept with your fiancé? Oh, I'm not the only one. He had an affair with Stella. No. It's one of the reasons why she left the village. She couldn't face Bernice, and neither can I. As far as I'm concerned, there's only one thing worse than what I did with Gavin, and that would be telling Bernice. But it's the truth. Well, could you tell her? 